Harry and I were making our way back now. Smudge and Gizmo were still at the bottom of the slope. Smudgy did catch up with us, but she hung back, wouldn't join in, and then she disappeared altogether. I never saw Gizmo again. In fact, he didn't come in for his tea tonight. But that's nothing new with him. Harry was quite happy on the way back. He's definitely happier with me. More relaxed with me. I mean, I can't let my guard down with him too much because he will still wander. But he's definitely, uh, he's definitely more relaxed. He's happiest when he's out. And not really just the back garden anymore. He wants to be off and the mountain is, that is his garden now. Mind you, they did have some fun when we got back. He went out into the back garden and uh, that was comical. That will do tomorrow. But I just love watching him walk. You'd never ever think that he was blind. If you hear noises in the background everyone, it's about time for them to start waking up and <laughs> playing games. Everything's still green up on the mountain. Well, it's green everywhere. In another couple of months, there'll be a collective groan over the island when the heat comes back. Harry likes to walk out in front, but not for long. He will stop and then he waits for me to take over again. A comment was made about um, a video I did. Oh, the other week. I think it was called "What a Difference a Day Makes." It was where that we were walking and Tubbs had appeared. Where I could see Tubbsy, but he was so far away I couldn't hear him, and Harry picked up on it. Harry could. Harry couldn't see but he could hear, I could see but I couldn't hear, couldn't figure out how he could um, pick up on a sound at that distance, especially from an animal that moves so quietly, 
but I was watching them the other day and there was a fly on the ground now it wasn't buzzing wasn't moving it was just it had landed it was there Harry knew he knew where that fly was the hearing is well that truly is amazing It was a nice quiet walk back, no fuss, no no dramas. Just Harry ambling along. And this time I let him walk to the road. And he lets me pick him up. And there's no fuss now and I carry him home. I mean in the past I pick him up and I have to keep him away from my face. I used to have to keep him away from my face because he would turn around and try and swipe me. Then there'll be growling and hissing on the way home, biting. But now he's uh, <laughs> He's so much more relaxed. He's quite happy to have that walk home or that carry home. It's probably not the most comfortable carry for him either. But he doesn't make any fuss now. Hope you've all enjoyed the video as usual we will all see you all again very soon